Okay, I guess I'm filming. Hello, lovelies. So, this is my second time trying this because uh, I've got about 15 minutes into the video and realized that I hadn't hit that record button. Anyways, I'm gonna keep it short and simple this time around. My name is Leah Rose Jackson, I'm my art director, designer, um, artist all around, just creative person. And I make a lot of shit, I make a lot of noise, um, and hence the name Leah Makes Noise. Um, one of the things I constantly get told is that my stuff is sometimes like too loud for some folks or um, it's too much for some brands. Like I like to use loud colors, I like patterns, I like things to be bright. Like there's enough minimal Scandinavian shit in the world like, and I'm not any of that. So um, nothing that I create really looks like that. Um, but I love to make loud, beautiful noise. Um, so that's my like, I think that's my personal mission in terms of like what I was put on this earth to do. Um, by day, I am an art director at an ad agency. Um, by night, I just be doing a lot of other stuff. Um, but I don't know. I just thought that this is the time to start this series or something. Like, I'm going to have at least a week of isolation. Um, and so, while as a like introverted extrovert, like an ambivert, that on some level, sounds like the dream is not really in the best of circumstances because as we all know right now we are all going through the rona and i know so many people who are affected in negative ways and i'm happen to be just blessed that i have a company that's allowing me to work from home and i still can get my paycheck like as normal but i have so many friends who are event planners or performers or um, musicians or like people who just really depend on um, audiences <laughs> and events um, and so I think I'm thinking about those people with like a lot of love and light this week and I'm definitely going to be thinking about like people who are directly affected in terms of like their own health um, with this corona virus because this is like some crazy times um, so, I mean, like, the only thing I can do, I feel like I have, like, all this abundant energy. And I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one, but there's something about feeling like, okay, there's not a restriction in terms of how much human interaction I should be having. I now want to do, I have, like, the urge to have a lot of creative output right now. And so, um, while I'm still going to be, like, working and working from home, which I might vlog a little bit about that. I'm gonna also just be reaching back into my bag of stuff. Like I have not been able to paint in the past like year and a half. Um, that's not true. Maybe like a year. Um, just because I I made it my mission outside of like work to start to design for like women of color, LGBTQ businesses, basically people who from marginalized identities who normally cannot afford. Um, the type of branding that I offer or like just in general cannot afford um, what people be charging out here tens of thousands of dollars for branding um, and I just really like I knew that my mission is called Noisemakers and I knew that one of my missions in life was to make sure that I'm creating equitable design so I might actually like talk about that a little bit on this channel too if you happen to see it um but yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get through this <laughs> uh, isolation. So today I'm just probably going to do a little bit of painting. Like normally I would put my head down and keep designing, um, computer designing. I have the most bougie ghetto set up. So do y'all see that over there? Like I have a desk. I have like a real desk over there. I don't know if you can even see it. But that is my kitchen island and I've co-opted it to become... <laughs> like a design area for myself so <sighs> yeah all right the mission the plan um is to be
Try to remove some of this stuff. Sometimes I just paint over it and I know I literally dead ass cannot remember if that's like proper for my art school training, but whatever. I'm just trying to clear some space so that I won't be getting colors confused. And I know like in general I should just start cleaning my palettes after I'm done painting with them. But I kinda like the build up. You can start to see, like, like I know what paintings I was working on with these different little continents. It's a little colorful Pangea. Okay, got to finish you. I never combined the concept with like something that was like some sort of setting with that. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm covering up the whole bottom part of this. So this is where I need to re angle. Hold on, let me get my other camera. Have you no training? Have you no training? You do have training. You literally spent thousands of dollars at art school learning how to do this. And for some reason, you just can't. It takes you a minute to get back into it. Um, so, yeah. The 
it's like almost like it's a weird thing where it's like it's a mug moment but it doesn't immediately come back like it's like it has to warm up and be activated like i mean i guess that's like any muscle or whatever but it literally has to be like oh yeah girl i remember how to do this i remember that that is a no-no or whatever i don't know i probably sound insane but point being i keep thinking the water is over there it's not i'm legit point being don't be judging me right now if you're looking at this and being like child what did you mean so this painting the story on this canvas it was my, bro my boyfriend used to have a studio in a church, like an actual working church. He is not religious in any way. Um, and, but he just had a partnership with this church in his neighborhood. Well, it certainly wasn't in his neighborhood. I think when he first started, he was. But, um, but he just basically had this partnership with the church to use their upstairs where he basically had like a whole studio in the whole upstairs um and i would say maybe like two or three months into us dating was when the church itself was closing because not that many people fucking with organized religion anymore um and <laughs> uh basically so basically he knew his studio would be up they were and they had like a final show and they were doing kind of like a yard sale barter go ahead take what you want type of thing where they're just getting rid of stuff and there was this painting that was in there um that was creepy as hell i don't know if i have a picture of it i might be able to dig one out but i think it was creepy one of his friends i think did it um but i was like but that canvas though that's still a good canvas so i think i'll take that i don't want to hang that on my wall but it had like this creepy hunched over figure um it had this creepy hunched over figure and it was like all that gray color that was on this canvas i mean it kind of like somebody painted it high as fuck on some like trends and went after you which I can get down with some psychedelics or whatever but I don't even like the outfit it's too big for my pants god my titties are popping juicy thoughts okay that's not that type of video okay um but yeah it was just an interesting paint oh, so the painting itself was interesting at first I was like Ooh, it could be fun to figure out how I can kind of paint with the thing, like the base of the thing. Um, like, so that's like something I've done with like, especially like older historic landscaping type of stuff. Like I like going in and like, fuck, not fucking with it, but like really making it uh, my own. And I tried to do that a little bit with this, but it just was not working. So eventually I started taking this over top um because I just I just realized that I wasn't inspired by that base at all be one thing if there was something I thought was redeemable in it but I really didn't like it uh one thing to know in this video please don't think that this painting is going to be resolved at the end. I, I'm sorry if that's unsatisfying to you. It's probably going to be for me, but this is probably going to be um, a process over the course of the week. The whole purpose, again, is just document what I'm doing over this work from home time. Some of it's going to be YouTubers who are 
Ross right now. <laughs> like, Little Ratchet Bob Ross. Ratchet Bob Ross, you can call me Ratchet. I even, like, have the same bro kind of going. Was Bob Ross Jewish? <laughs> I'm also in the
I could go in with some star stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna start making stars. Fuck, that was a big star. Didn't know how to get into that. Light, 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 light. There we go. You know, we just got like a constellation going over here. using the flat head brush doesn't really work perfectly for this. I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna switch because you see flat head is giving me these more horizontal stars and I need, I need um, a more pointy situation to really get the effect that I want. You need to pick your Afro daddy cause it's flat on one side you flat too? Mm -hmm. You need to pick your Afro Daddy because it's flat on one side. Mm. Are you? Well, you're not flat, but you're a little too big. Yeah, yes, you are. Now I should have a better system, baby. A better system for my brushes. Yes, I should. Yes, I should. I need a better system. A better system for my brush. Because you're the only one I see now. I think you're gonna work. And if she don't work, then I'll just go back to the other flat head. It's flat on one side. Okay. Yeah, she works decent. Oh, fuck. See, this is me trying to be cute, looking through the camera, making sure the angle right. So looking at the canvas. We got Supernova over here. know anything about the bigger ones is that you do have to actually make sure that they're rounded whereas like with the baby ones you can just get away with whatever it could look like whatever and fuck I need to stop looking at the camera gosh darn it put you on pause. Alright. Okay, so it looks cool. Has a hole. I think I'm gonna leave off there. So in this vlog, it gets my titty curtain. It's a titty curtain that I, you know, took a basic cactus curtain and painted some titties on there, cause why not? Um, but I'm gonna end this vlog saying uh, thank you for watching. If you wanna continue watching, you know what to do. I'm about to tell you what to do. You know what to do. This is YouTube. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but. If you just want to continue along as I vlog my experiences through this whole social distancing thing that we're going through, um, I'm just, I think I'm just going to make it a mandate that I'm just doing something creative for myself each day of these days. Like, yeah, I'm going to be working from home. Yeah, I'm going to be, um, trying to like keep everything in order um but just from home but i'm also gonna take this time but then you try to use it with intention of okay if i'm not gonna be like going out hanging out what am i gonna be filling my time with 
other than watching reruns of Charm School, but I can do that at the same time as doing some new creative thing. Um, so yeah, yeah, I will see you. And if you want to continue 